Hi, I'm Lisa with Lisa Boone Designs, and today we're going to be painting a metal filing cabinet. Now, I've already gotten started. It's right behind me. I've put two coats of DIY Paints Vintage Linen, and then we're going to add some fun techniques to make it completely unique. This is something that you can easily do in your own home, in your home office, or in your work office to make a filing cabinet not so boring. So if you have something like this, I hope that it'll inspire you to reimagine it and recreate it for you. There's a little bit of bleed through that came through, but that is not bothering me because I'm going to use it to my advantage. You can see here, and I knew that that was gonna come through. There was some rust there. And of course, if I would have painted this a darker color, you wouldn't even notice it. I didn't even finish the second coat up here. So your first coat is always a scratch coat and then your second coat fills it in. As you can see, I did add texture to it because there was a whole bunch of tape and residue. You can actually see the tape right here. Um, it wouldn't come off, so I just left it alone. And then there's dings and dents, uh, a little bit more bleed through right there. That's okay. We're gonna work on this and it's going to be beautiful and you won't even notice all of the flaws. I'm in a couple of spots and so anything that you don't like or needs to get filled in you can just dab the original color another color and just fill it in See, there's the original bleed mark where the rust was. But it just looks like it's part of the deal. A little bit of this water that I just made. I made a paint wash using the leftover paint from the curio cabinet that I've been working on. I was using old school. So if you throwing away your paint water, you're missing out on a great opportunity to use it as a wash, as watercolor. Um, you can do so much. You can even thicken this up and use it um, with salt wash. I mean, you could, there's so much you can do with it. There's just so much pigment that is in DIY paint and it's due to the clay. So the clay has to have a lot of pigment in order for the colors to shine through. And because of it, we can water it down 10 to one. So let's get started. 
This looks great as it is. I love the way that it looks, but I want to darken up the edges just a little bit. I love using these blue shop towels. You can use a rag, you can use paper towels. It's gonna drip some. It's water, right? I'm just going to rub it in here and then blot it. Keeping in mind that if I add a little bit too much, I can sand it down or I can add a little bit more white or the faded burlap just to get the right consistency, the right mixture, the right color of what I'm wanting to do. But I love adding a little bit of grunge. This is a great way to do it. You could also do it with wax or put wax on top of it to give it even more dimension. I took off the excess a little bit here. I definitely want this where the key is to be grungy. So I mix the two colors together that I had put on here and I'm gonna go ahead and add that in, that mix of a color. So I'm gonna add some darkness around the pool. This is what I typically do for waxing. Only I'm going to do it with a wash. Hold that thought. I'm smiling as I'm doing it because I just love this. It's so much fun. I don't get to play that much anymore, especially when I do client work when there's something specific and I've been doing the one color look and you know which is fine but this is really what I like I'm gonna take my blue sponge applicator I normally like to do this in the sink but we're doing this here and now you want to wet it because you want to have some moisture in that brush, in, I keep saying brush, in the sponge, so that you can get an even application of your top coat super fast. I'm gonna dip it in, I'm gonna wipe off the excess. And just like that, in seconds, first coat is done. Now I'll go ahead and do the rest of it.
thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Comment below, share this with someone that you think that might like it, and also, all of the links are in the description. If you want to purchase any of the products that I use today, feel free to go on my website, lisabundesigns.com.